known for claiming imminent doomsday are popping up all over the U.S. Judgment Day is at hand. It's going to be a terrific earthquake, way, way greater than anything that the Earth has ever experienced, and that will be the beginning of Judgment Day. The country has been under siege by weather in recent years, devastating tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, droughts, that kill thousands, called billions and billions in damage. Uh, a lot of people want to talk about global warming. They want to talk about man-made uh, changes in our uh, environment.
put in the time of the Kali Yuga. Now the Kali Yuga is the actual four Yugas. These four Yugas are how the Hindus measure time, in particular time, time that keeps going around and around. The Saxon Yuga, uh, Tristan Yuga, uh, Dawapar Yuga, and then the Kali Yuga. They'll, they'll break it down, but in the Greek thing, it is the Golden Age, Silver Age, yes. Bronze Age, and the Iron Age, yes. um, Dark Ages, age, you know. And uh, let's see, so we're clear, how we know we're in this Kali Yuga, or this time of death. So we were talking about Sri Ramakrishna. Yes. This is a guy who's come in the spirit world as a gateway to a deeper level of the Kali energy. We're talking about a way in. Another level. I guarantee you, no one on this planet has done what this man has done for Kali. So if he's coming saying he's going to be an ally, no matter how deep you are, or how deep you believe you are, why not use him if this is what you do? Yeah. You know, I'm talking to the people who do this type of work, because that's the only people who can hear this anyway. If you don't do this type of work, just consider this some on an informational level for you, on a logical level. Now... Kali, or the Kali Yuga, or the 2012, or the end time, there's a lot of debate, and we talked about it, what really happened. The most optimistic is that the circle will be over. There were plenty of, of end time events. They call them big extension events on the planet. So there was a time where there was a saber-toothed tiger, but then it was just gone. The Willie Mammoth and it was just gone. You get what I'm saying? Right. I miss all Just, just gone. Those were so-called 2012 events. They, they actually have names from the Jurassic period, the Cretaceous period. Those and they come every such and such a time. So they're saying this 2012 thing is the next extinction level event. A lot of occultists say, even a couple of the white boys say, but this particular 2012. Light will not reemerge on planet Earth. On planet Earth. On planet Earth. satellite communication, navigation systems, and electrical transmission equipment and grid. Every element that we understand on this planet is being attacked. Air, water, fire, and earth. Earthquakes everywhere. Some getting underreported. Now it seems if it's less than three, they don't even call it a tremor anymore. You're still having quakes in Yosemite alone, and the San Andreas fault line alone. You're getting tremors almost daily. Anytime my earth trembles, and it's under my feet, I think it's important. I mean, if this is truly a melting pot in the country where we care about it, lay baby got a hand like this, you really love us, then we really need to be like that. And it needs to be the black kids, and if there's a, a white person who got money, then you need to help them. You need to help the black kids, Mexican kids, Korean kids, whatever. But it needs to be real. And it needs to be before we all die, and then you say, oh, I made a mistake. We should have gave them some money. We really should have helped these folks. It's going to be too late. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when you got to pay your own karma. And that's when God make you punish. God punishes. 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 